Tune in Phoenix is the Israelites you need to know. You ain't never gonna hear this from a pastor though. You done in and did the deal with some lies. You done in and did the deal with some lies. You done in and did the deal with some lies. Think you coming in here with your single people trying to own the Praise to the Most Ch- High. Hey, shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ. Bless. Christ we are sure. back in the building. That's right. Shout out to the deacons, the, beach, the, the bishops, the captains. You're going to have to edit that. All praises to the Most High. <laughs> <laughs> slip of the tongue. Slip of the, slip right, of the right. tongue. Slip of the tongue. Hey, we back here at uh, Lions Den Radio Show, the greatest radio show at 7 p.m. in that Israel. That's is right. right. That's you right. You already know. But uh, y'all know how we get things started. We want to know how everybody's week was because uh, I think it's been a... <laughs> I think it's been a long time. Been a couple weeks. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We shouldn't have left you <laughs> yeah. without a Gotta cool script know. to step to. Right. Oh, fire. Okay. Okay, okay bars. You know, crazy. That's a t-shirt. Queens Bridge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm stuck. Edit that part out as Jerusalem. Right. All day, every day. So, hey. We got a special guest today. Yes, we do. We Uh-oh. got a first time visitor. Yes, we yeah. do. Yeah. Movie right. Soldier right. David. Right. 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 All praise right. to the most right. high. New graduate. All yes, sir. Praise. All praise. All praise. Shalom Soldier. Welcome to your first ever of many Lord Willing Lines and Radio Shows. That is right. right. Explain to the people how your week been. Right. A little bit tiring, you know. I had to do taxes this past yeah, speaking week. Speaking the mic. And, uh, wow, this brother said I got to do taxes. Yeah, yeah. As a single brother, you know, taxes. apparently. Yeah, you got to speak in the mic. Yeah, you got to turn speak in the mic. mic. Oh, it's all right. We're going to get you right. in with some lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, Don't get, get written right. up in your first show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> test, test. There you go. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. good. So this past week, I've had to do, you know, taxes. You know, the white man taking more and more money from us. Damn. Actually, I had to owe. So. Are oh, you making enough money to pay taxes? Wow. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that boy rich. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we got a second special guest. Uh-oh. Might even be the first. I don't know if y'all know this or not, <laughs> but King Gaddy Yell is in the building. That's yeah. right, right, right. All Back here for the first time. All, praise. All, praise. All praises. <laughs> Please tell the people, because I know you've had a good week. How your week been? Yeah, I had a I had a fantastic week. Uh, you are oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We you, you can't even get an applause from all. Right, 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 right. right, 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 right. 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 Must be a right. righteous. That's you in the sound. But yeah, no, I had a great week. It was uh, it was great. It was great for many reasons. But, All right now, yeah. I bet it was. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. officer yeah. posted a picture. Officer was like, yo, why didn't y'all tell me this is right. how y'all eat good? That gourmet yeah. breakfast, <laughs> man. All yeah. Yeah. Had bacon and everything. Yeah, hey, yeah. you know. Single Pepper. brothers, we be eating rough, man. We be eating whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating real food, oh, man. Yeah. Man. Right. Right. Wow. Wow. It's possible. Good. Yeah. What the hell is this? But man, that's for, for those of you that don't know, we've been off for a couple of weeks. We had two weddings. Because, you know, that's here right. at IUIC, we push the truth. Right. That's right. the Bible. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. That's right. right. Shout out to Officer Yuri. Uganda forever. Uganda. Yes. Yes. He also, you know, went through the proven process. Both these brothers are honorable men. Right. They went ahead and they got themselves a house. And now, Lord willing, we're going to see some future Levites and Gadites running around. Yes, here. Yes, sir. Right. Right. So to Eliezer. Yes, sir. Shay, Shalom family, most high in Christ. Blessed to you all. Told the man on the panel. Shout out to leadership. Um, week, I got I got this phone call throughout this week. The week was good. Uh-oh. Um, it it stirred something up because the phone call comes when the earthquakes come, mm. right? And this stuff that our leadership has been bringing out for years earthquakes when they see that the eclipse is coming Hmm. so that phone call came in hey so what do you think is going to be going on with Mm. this eclipse coming in i was like i don't know you figure it out let me know you know and if you are watching most likely you are then you know what it is it's the most high that's Hmm. it 
So that that was it for me. So what you're saying is something got to happen after you prophesy for them to know you're a prophet. Yeah. Most definitely, because we've been telling them for years. There you go. We've been telling them. There you go. I don't believe in all that. Okay, well, one day you will. (laughs) They're going to find out. (laughs) Yes, sir. Officer Nathalia. Hey, hey, this week was fire, man. Like you said, we coming back, you know what I'm saying, to the show at the, what, about three, four weeks of, uh, you know, uh, we've been having to be at the event, so um, it's, it's good to be back. But my week was pretty good, man. Everything went uh, pretty well, man. The Sabbath was fire. You already know we had a chance to uh, touch down in right. Gainesville. Right. right. And that right. camp right, right there, that thing was live, bro. We had so many people come up. Um, but the, the best thing about it is everybody like, where y'all located? You know what I mean? Right. Like, they wanted us to be there. And uh, the people was attentive to the word, man. So that was the highlight of my week. Oh, Officer Zeph, the original the lion himself. Into, 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 with some, what, the but, building. Hey, shalom, Israel, shalom. Hey, I had a great week. It started off uh, like Officer was bringing out with my brother getting married. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I'm the yeah. 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 Hey, beautiful thing, beautiful thing. These Israelite weddings, that's brothers right. getting married in righteousness. Um, my father was in town, mm. and uh, one of the highlights of my week when he was uh, leaving out, I was taking him to the airport. So he's a assistant pastor at his oh, yeah. church. Mm, mm. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. So he had a biblical question to ask me. I answered the question. And, um, you know, after I answered the question, he um, basically gave his assessment of everything he had seen while he was here. And he mm. said that he was thoroughly impressed. Basically, he couldn't yes, gain say sir. nothing against oh, what he had seen. Oh, he was like, man, everything that was brought out, at the wedding was on point. The scriptures was on point. That's he right. said when he looked at the body, he could see that it was sincere love among us. He was like, I know what fake love looks like, but you all love each other. That's right. Mm, so it, it affected him in a way. We're going to see if he's going to repent. Hey, Lord. Lord. Well, we're going to see if he's going to yes, repent. Sir. But when he goes back and reports the pastor, right. Uh-oh. it's a problem because he mm-hmm. ain't got nothing mm-hmm. yeah. negative he can yeah. say. Yeah. He found out we really ain't a cult, y'all. Yeah. Mm. So hey, all praises to the all praises. All praises. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, somebody get Matthew chapter five. Let's light shine. Right. That's, hey, here's the thing. At the end of the day, we love our people. We know that our people are misguided in these religions. Because guess why? Because we was there too. Right. We was on the right. other side of it looking like, ain't no way God only loves the Israelites. Right. right? Read that real right. quick. The book of Matthew chapter five and verse 16. Uh-huh. Let your light so shine before men. Christ said, let our light so shine before men. What's that light? Us applying the commandments in the faith of Christ. You got a young man in his truth that is getting married, applying Hebrews 13 right. and four. You seeing the nation come together to honor this thing and sanctify it in the name of the Lord. We got to send up prayers. Right. We face the East. You right. seeing biblical scriptures come to life right, right in front of you, right? That's that, right. That they may see your good works. That they may see your good works. So you can't be in the house typing on a keyboard. These are actions we bring out in front of our people, right? Go ahead. And glorify your father, which is in heaven. That's the key right there. The most high God that's right. in heaven gets all glory and all praise. That's right. Right. With, without his law, statutes, and commandments, We'd be niggas in the world right, right, having a, right, a right. damn twerk contest or some foolishness. Right, right, you understand know right, what I'm saying? Right. What, one more scripture. Get first, uh, what's that? First Timothy three and seven. First Timothy three and seven. Because like you said, he's assistant pastor. He's mm-hmm. gonna go back and he's right. gonna speak on the good time he had. Right. right. First Timothy three and seven. The book of First Timothy chapter three and verse seven. Mm-hmm. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without. Right. So we don't just apply the commandments when we congregate. We apply the commandments when we leave the building twenty four seven. Right. Hell, right. some of us probably in our sleep thinking about remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so we applying this amongst the nations that we're gonna be around and our own people. Go ahead. Lest he fall into reproach uh-huh. and the snare of the devil. Uh huh. That was it on that? Yes, sir. Right. So we let our, we make sure we are a good example to them that's without, so that way we don't fall into a snare of the devil. More importantly, they have nothing evil to say of us, right? Right. right. Hey, so... Uh, hey, also, can I back you up on that Bring point? it out. Ooh, all praises. Hey, Acts 24, verse 16. Bring it so out. exactly what the officer is stating, because we already know that based on what how the world is uh, portraying us as an organiz- or organized nation, that's what we right. are. Right. But they say that we a hate group, we uh, destroy marriages, right. right? That's what they say. That's the picture that's painted. But when you actually put all that to the side and you actually see how we operate, right. mm-hmm. you see something totally different. But 
It's because we actually follow what the scriptures say. All right, read that. The book of Acts, chapter 24 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And herein do I exercise myself right. to have always a conscience void of offense right. toward God uh -huh. and toward men. Right. So the way that we operate, like you said, not only when we amongst each other, but even when we outside of these doors, we have to operate in a certain manner so that we're not uh, seen in a certain light in a negative way. Why? Because guess what? That could be a deciding factor on them. Somebody may say, you know what? I might just check them out and see what they're about. Right, These right. are some upstanding kind of, you know, brothers. I like the unity. So all praises to the most high for that thing, man. All praises. All, all praises. praises. All praises. Hey, so we got a good show for y'all today. Uh, we're going to get started with the first article. Y'all know what time it is. That's right. It's time for that Northern Kingdom Minute. The uh -oh. Dalai Loose uh -oh. Minute. Oh, Dalai Loose. Hey, and this week's... Northern Kingdom Minute, we're going to read about two distinct men, two very different men whose history link up. And we're going to see how. Hmm. Go ahead. Descendants of enslaved. Yeah, speaking to the yeah. mic. Bring that mic up. There you go. Descendants of enslaved. Enslavers break silence around France's past. So we know that Esau, Edom, France, right? They have a past of slavery mm. these two men in the picture now i want you to notice something these two men in the picture are the two men that's past linked together in slavery now if you notice the picture in the back y'all right, what does that look right, like right 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 uh oh that's some slave routes that's some slave mm -hmm. routes yeah. they stole our campsite slave Damn. routes now of course both men are smiling but we know what it is right okay we know what it is it's a post for the picture um let's scroll down let's start right there at uh, Nantes. Nantes. Mm -hmm. Returners. De De Dudon. Dudon mm -hmm. Boutrin mm -hmm. is a descendant of people enslaved in the Caribbean. So that's the brother on the top right. He's the descendant of the enslaved in the Caribbean. Now, we know biblically that we got both the northern and southern kingdom in the Caribbean. But we're going to see how France made their money early on. Let's go. Pierre Guillon's de Prince's ancestors from Natanz were ship owners transporting. They were what? Ship owners transporting these enslaved. Uh -huh. Although c contrasting, mm -hmm. their families' histories are linked. Their families' history are linked. Although they're both contrasting people, their families' history are linked. Let's go. Scroll down. What the hell is this? This is heavy, heavy information. Go ahead. They met in 2021 right. in Nate, Natiz, mm -hmm. which was France's largest port for transatlantic slavery, and have since been working together to raise awareness about the past and its legacy in today's society. Now, if I could bring out, uh, what is that, Proverbs 11? Because although yeah. they're, they're working together, they're smiling in the picture, they're posing for the gram, they're making it look good for the newspaper. Right. Proverbs 11 21. and verse 21. Yes, sir. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 21. Though join hand in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Now we see biblically who is the preferred nation is going to be the brother that was part of the enslaved. That wicked nation is the white man on the left. That's right. Though they join hand in hand, excuse me, join hand in hand, although they're working <coughs> in tandem to bring this truth out, that man still got to be punished. That's right. That man still got to be punished. Read. But the seed of the righteous is shall, real. Be, shall be delivered. That's be us. We shall be delivered. Let's go back to that article. Oh, praises. Originally from the Caribbean islands mm -hmm. of Martinique. 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 59-year-old Martine moved to Natines in the 1980s. It was only then that he fully learned about his true extent of slavery. So the gentleman that was has his lineage mm. back to slavery, he only learned it once he went over there to France. Why? Because back in his home country, they oppressed that information from us. Mm. Right. We have to go to where the majority is, Esau, to get the true information. See, they know who we are. It's right. Israel that wants to join hand in hand and be equal with the other nations, the hey. same ones that oppress us. Hey, get Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What's, what's crazy is never, never will your enemy actually educate you fully on the atrocities exactly. he's done to you. Right. Right. And this also proves what we're about to read because 
he has to go to another oppressor's land to find out about his history. Correct. He's not learning from it from his father, like the scripture tells us to do. Right. It, it's not another black man telling him what, what went down. It's the white man that oppressed him, mm -hmm. right? Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. God said, therefore you shall serve your enemies. Right. right. When slavery happened to our people, once we were starting to set ourselves back up, guess what happened? You had to go serve your enemies. You served them back then for education. Hell, you had to serve them even to know about religion, and he indoctrinated you, right? right. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee Read. in hunger, in hunger, and in thirst, uh -huh. and in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. And in want of all things. This brother needed to find out his identity That's and his right. history, mm -hmm. and he had to go to the French oppressor Damn. to go learn about that. It's crazy. That's that is crazy. crazy. That's 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 what we even see nowadays when so did Derek brought out. Got to go do taxes, got to do this. Right. We're still doing that in our land now. Right. Mm -hmm. Majority ran by the oppressor. Go ahead, back to that, the article um, from the 15th. From the 15th to the 19th century, uh -huh. at least 12.5 million Africans were kidnapped. Were what? Kidnapped. So it wasn't a willing trip that we took, right. brothers and sisters. <laughs> Read. And forcefully transported by mostly European ships. By mostly European ships, read. And sold into slavery. Wow. Re Re researchers estimate at least 2 million people died in the grueling Middle Passage. So that's just from going from point A to point B. They didn't even make it to the destination to get raped. They didn't make it to the destination to get their history ripped from them. They didn't make it to the destination to get their uh the image of the black messiah washed away and then the white one brought in they didn't even make it there it was the grueling process that this white man in that picture his family made a fortune right off of the slave backs off of the blood of israelites read voyage across the atlantic uh-huh France trafficked an estimate 1.3 million people. Now, we're just mentioning one piece of Esau's right. entire mm -hmm. empire. Right. France. Read. To the Americas, including the Caribbean. And that's heavy. Why? Because a lot of our brothers and sisters in the Caribbean will submit to the white image of Caesar Borgia, mm -hmm. which comes and is capitalized within France. Right. Hey, and I want you to pay attention to something. This thing said 12.5 million Correct. from That's the crazy. 15th century to the 19th century. Get Daniel 9 and 11. Yes, sir. Get Daniel 9 and 11. Because I know somewhere, somebody at home is worrying about Israel, support Israel, the Holocaust. <laughs> Listen, we're not saying bad things didn't happen to everybody, but it didn't happen to you like it happened to us. That's right. 12.5 million cannot compare to whatever 2 million, 3 million, whatever number they want to infatuate. Not correct. And like you stated. You're going to learn today. Right. You, like <laughs> right. you stated, you're talking about just a small portion. Correct. We're not right. talking about the whole transatlantic slave trade. Right. We're just talking about France dealing That's this. That's correct. Right? Read that real quick. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 11. Uh-huh. Yay. All Israel have transgressed thy law, mm -hmm. even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Right. All 12 tribes have broken God's commandments. Read. Therefore, therefore, the curse, the is, what? The curse uh -huh. is poured upon us. Therefore, the curse that's written in Deuteronomy 28 is poured upon us. It don't say all. It don't mm -hmm. say some. It says us, all 12 tribes. Read. Right. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, uh -huh. the servant of God read because we have sinned against him uh -huh. and he hath confirmed his words which he spoke against us read. and against our judges that judged us come on by bringing upon us a great evil a great evil you have a so-called white man coming into your land taking 12.5 million of your people and in transit over three million of them dies that is a great evil upon the earth. Read. Right. For under the whole heaven. This is what I wanted to get to. For under the whole heaven. Had not been done. Uh -huh. As had been done upon Jerusalem. There's right. no comparison. Right. You can't compare any of these other atrocities. I don't want to hear about 9-11. Right. I don't want to hear about none of that stuff. There is no comparison. And you know what kills me, officer? What's that? You bring this up. And they be know. like. Let, let's just forgive and let's move yeah, exactly. on. Right, yeah, right, let's right. move on. But you never forget. You can never forget 9-11. Right. Nope, no. Nah. You, 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 you can That's never the motto forget 9-11. Right. Yeah. You forget, can never forget, never forget the Holocaust. Right. You Damn. say that right now, 
anti-Semitic. <laughs> you lose your job, right. you lose your yep. house. Right. Yep. But somehow, over 12.5 million, a small fraction of people is decimated. And you're supposed to forget that. Yeah, right. nah. Not at all. Heck no. Nah. Heck no. Nah. Nah. And then more to that point, officer, when they when they try to bring out the, oh, let's let's hold hands and let's hold peace. Let's put educational programs together. I guarantee there's that white Frenchman that's leading how we're going to put these lessons together and what we're going to be teaching right. these people. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and start reading there. Uh, the more I got into the story. The more I got into the story. Now, this is the brother whose lineage leads back to the slavery. Uh huh. The more... Anger there was. The more what? Anger there was. That sounds like Ecclesiastes 7. Mm. Mm. Let me get that. Right. Ecclesiastes 7, 7. Yep. You can finish that. Um, the more. The more the anger, more there, anger was. there was. The more anger there was. Who Trent said. Right. So I decided to put all my energy into paying tribute to these men and women. That's what our bishops have been laboring and doing for decades. They've been doing it. Biblically, as right. the Lord commanded, <clears throat> paying tribute to waking our people up. That's, That's right. right. We get that the intention of this brother is to do the same thing, but he's going about it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because wisdom makes a wise man. Well, let's read the scripture. Let's read the scripture. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Oppression. The oppression of our people. The killing of 12.5 million. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Right. And so what's the gift? What's going to happen is our people are going to get partnership with these French men and women, and they're going to have everything pacified and slowed down, mm -hmm. and that hunger is going to subside. Our bishop tells us, hey, we are not going to get bought out, we're not going to subside, and we're going to finish this till the end. It is what it is. Right. That's it. Right. Hey, I want you to finish reading that last part about France, because we was talking about this a while ago. Uh, where it says... Uh, 2001? 2001, yeah. In 2001, France officially recognized transatlantic slavery as a crime against humanity. Damn. Yo, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. Damn. In 2001, France, now we're going to recognize, oh, Oops. yeah, my bad. I shouldn't have did that. <laughs> right. 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 I, I, I don't right. think that was the right thing to do, right? Get Psalms chapter 73. Get Psalm 73. Mm -hmm. Hey, this stuff is a slap in our face. Straight up. That, mm -hmm. that brother, like you just saying, he should be, that should piss him off. That right. should really anger him. Now in 2001, 2001, it said in the 15th to the 19th century, y'all right. was doing it. So we know when past that. Right. And now in 2001, you're going to recognize that something went wrong. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did something wrong. Correct. Right? Psalm 73 and uh, reverse 8. The book of Psalm, chapter 73 and verse 8. Start at verse 6. Verse 6. Uh-huh. Therefore, pride can pass at them about as a chain. Right. These people are a prideful people. The fact that you can put that out there talking about some, oh, I'm just now recognizing we did something wrong in 2001. Who reads? <laughs> Violence covered them as a garment. What covers them as a garment? Violence covered them as a garment. Because it's not just them transporting us as slaves. When you got... First of all, to get you on the ship, there was violence done. Correct. Mm -hmm. you, there was war. We didn't sit up there and was like, well, you know what? We going to France. We, we. Yeah. Right. Right. Nah. No. There was fighting. There was Resistance. battle. There was killing going right. on. Right. Right. Then you got on the ship. There was atrocities being done unto you sh on your ship. Mm -hmm. You get off the ship, there's still rape, robbing, and murdering right. going off your people. Yeah. So yeah. These people are covered in violence. Read. Their eyes stand out with fatness. Uh -huh. They have more than heart could wish. Because they are covetous people. Everywhere they go, they tell you manifest destiny. The mm -hmm. Lord wills it. The Lord wills it. Damn. You ever watch some of them old-time movies? They stay saying that when they want to conquer your land. Right. Meanwhile, you sitting right there looking at him like, what are you doing to my front door? Right. 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 right? Read. <laughs> They are corrupt. They are what? They are corrupt. They are a corrupt people. Read. And speak wickedly concerning oppression. We got a prime example right here because they're making it seem like a light thing. Like, oh, yeah, 2001, we recognize that, right. Right? right? So wait a second. If you recognized it, what are you going to do to fix it? Correct. Yeah. That's right. What are you going right. to do to fix it? Read. Right. They speak loftily. Uh -huh. They set their mouth against the heavens, uh -huh. and their tongue walketh through the earth. And their tongue walketh through the earth. I want you to pull it back up and finish reading the rest of it mm -hmm. in France. I'm going to show you something with this. Because when I read this, yeah, it started, uh, it started to get on me, and I, I, I want you to read it, though. Yep. Starts in, in 2001. France. 2001, mm -hmm. uh -huh. France officially recognized transatlantic slavery as a crime against humanity. Uh -huh. But... According to the French Foundation of the Remembrance of Slavery, racism persists. Whoa. You don't say. The scriptures say where there is no vision, the people perish. 
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. I'm going to show you and prove to you that the Israelites are black were always black. Dance for time, just move up your body. Don't get loose and groove on the body. Bruce wine. Put on the arm of the procedure complete. Me not go back now, retreat. I'll treat as every Jesse Bell must get delete. Me no sleep on a demon, me keep a full clip. Conspire me down, fuck. Cause them wants to me slip. Stay close to the real ones where seal off and legit. Cause I gotta use them to keep your soul from the pit. This is our life. Wow. Right. Don't mm -hmm. say so they recognize the George Floyd situation. Right. And the Philando Clan Steel. And, mm -hmm. and, and all the brothers and sisters that put to death at right. the hands of white people. Oh, now, okay. uh, uh, right. pull up that Wikipedia real quick. We, you got some more in this? No, sir. That all right, it. pull up the Wikipedia real quick because we're talking about France, right? Here's something that some of y'all may not realize. When France, right, when there was a Haitian revolution, somehow France got Levi, because that's what the so-called Haitian, you're from the tribe of Levi. That's right. That's right. right. Like to, to pay them back for the times they missed out on enslaving you. <laughs> that's crazy. So it sounds like that contributed to them realizing what wow. they did in 2001. There you go. Damn. There you go. Watch wow. this. Read that real quick. Sir. Haiti independence debt. Uh -huh. The Haiti indemnity controversy involves an 1825 agreement between Haiti and France that included France demanding its indemnity of 150 million fr Francs to be paid to Haiti in claims over property, including Haitian slaves. Including what? Uh, Haitian slaves. So, wait a second. Uh, wow. So, you rob my people, Damn. rape my people, oppress my people, take Damn. me in slavery, right. then I got to pay you back Damn. for the time that you missed out on it. Damn. Had to pay reparations for well, being a slave. I had to slave. pay you reparations <laughs> for being a slave. <laughs> Watch this, though. Keep oh, reading. That was lost through the Haitian Revolution in return for diplomatic recognition with the debt removing 21 billion that from the crazy. Haitian economy. Now, you know what's crazy about that? When Man. did America have to pay back England? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. for, uh, saying that we want this, we're keeping right. this. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't recall that. Nah. Right? Right. Nah. Keep reading. The first annual payment alone was six times Haitians' annual revenue. So they can't even afford to pay this, right? Go ahead. The payment was later reduced to 90 million francs in 1838. 1838, correct me if I'm wrong. Was we not still slaves? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Still slaves. So they're yeah, saying, yeah, sure. I know you're still a slave. You can't afford it. So we're going to cut it down to 90 francs, Damn. right? Let's see what 90 francs e equals to. Equivalent to... 33 billion. Th what, what? What? 33 billion. Uh huh. 875 million. Uh huh. 264,274 in 2023. In 2023. Don't forget about that last mm. dollar. Mm. They want every last dollar, Correct. right? Keep mm -hmm. reading. Man. With Haiti paying about 112 million francs in total. Go ahead. Over the 122 years between 1825 and 1947, the debt severely <laughs> hemped. Hampered Hemp. patients' yep. economy development as payments of capital and interest totaling a significant share of Haitians' GDP. So it damaged their economy, Crippled like it. the soldier was Crippled. saying. So Damn. when when white man talks about this, pull yourself up by, by the bootstraps. Right. Right. How? Right. How? Right. How? You ain't got yeah. the answers, right. You ain't got the answers. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this, right? right. Uh, I want you to jump down to where it says, scroll down, scroll down. Where it says, stop right there. Hold on, hold on. Go back up a little bit. Uh, it says, due to unrealistic mm -hmm. demands. Yeah. Yep. Start from right there. Due to the unrealistic demands pushed by France, Haiti was forced to take large loans. Oh, gosh. From the France bank. Wow. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Wait. 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 Hold on. Okay. So, Pause the tape. Yeah. So wait a second. So That's crazy. I can't afford to pay you uh -huh. back slave money from you enslaving me. Right. So now you give right. me a loan to pay you right. with interest. And to now. pay you. And now I got to pay back that loan. Wow. But and I still got to pay back what I owed you at first, too. Yeah. Right. The hey, slavery, so what you got? Got? The slavery got rewrapped. Yeah. Real quick. Bring it up. Uh, That's crazy. We're going to go back to the curses. Bring it up. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 29. That's right. Bring Watch it up. Watch this. The book because of Deuteronomy. 
a lot of our brothers and sisters that we encounter from the tribe of Levi mm-hmm. still follow after the religion of their oppressors. Right. Y'all love being Seventh-day Adventists. Mm-hmm. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Thou shalt grope at noonday. You feeling around trying to figure out what's going on because they done did such a number on you. Right. So in your groping, you go for other religions. You go for uh, everything except for what the Lord told you you're supposed to be doing in the first place, which is keeping God's laws and faith in Christ. Read. As the blind gropeth in darkness. As the blind gropeth in darkness. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Why will you not prosper in your ways? Because they going to put... Uh, uh, Thirty-three billion dollar debt on you, right. and then when you can't pay it back, they gonna make you take out a loan with interest. and make you, with interest <laughs> and make you pay back that loan plus the original debt. Damn. So guess what? You're not gonna be able to prosper in your ways. Right. Right? And thou shalt be only oppressed. And spoiled evermore. That's oppression and spoiling at its finest right there. Mm-hmm. In case you ain't know, the white man is the devil. Right, right, right. Damn. Hey, I, uh, let me get Lamentations 4 bring and it 17. Out. Oh, because you that's, you fight that's that crazy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm in Lamentations 2. I'm like, ah, hey, you're yeah. the spirit. Pray, you in the spirit. spirit. You in the spirit. <laughs> Because that's crazy to think, like, a lot of this oppression and stuff, because it said racism still persists. Right. A lot of this oh. stuff, we only see it at a face value. Like, I've never thought to look up, like, the Haitians had to pay back a debt that they had to pay for slavery. Like, these are stuff way past the power that we even hold as a people. That's right. But read right. our Lamentations 4. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Bring it out. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. So that's things like this brother needs to focus on. Like you looking for the wrong help. Our help is in the most high God. These scriptures right here. When you go back to the same people who oppressed you and made you pay reparations for being in slavery, right. you are looking for vain help. Right. That is not the people you want to go to, the people who enslaved your ancestors, murdered your children, and still kill you today. These aren't the people you look for. Read on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. It is impossible for the nation to save us who you see they have systematically uh, designed to keep you oppressed. Right. It's no way you can come up from the, the oppression and the debt that still plagues us as a people. Read verse 19. Verse 19. Mm-hmm. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles. They're 10 steps ahead of us. 12 steps ahead of us. Right. It ain't no way to get back. You can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You ain't got no bootstraps. Right. That's how far ahead of right. us that they right. are. You, you ain't got, got no nothing. shoes. You ain't got no shoes to even stand on. Right. Like how are we supposed to pull ourselves up when we see how far and how deep that they've gone to destroy us as a people? Right. That's all I wanted. Hey, hey, can we get uh, Ecclesiastes chapter four? Because, hey, what you see in this whole scenario is they got power, bro. Yep. They got power yep. on their side. We have yep. no, power no power because, first off, on one side, you being oppressed, you enslaved. Then when you do form some type of, we say, independence, mm-hmm. you got to pay your oppressors back for you not being enslaved under them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that shows, free. They is no matter no matter what you can do. The Lord said that this is gonna happen to us for uh, breaking his commandments. But uh, read that. Go ahead. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four and verse one. Yep. Go ahead. So I returned and considered all the oppressions uh-huh. that are done under the sun. All the oppressions, like obviously Hazio read earlier. What he read under the whole heaven. Mm-hmm. All of the things that happen to us, no other nation can compare to, right? Go ahead. And behold, the tears of such uh-huh. as were oppressed. That's talking about the Israelites. Right. We the ones being oppressed. Our people stressed out, going mm-hmm. through hell, right? Go ahead. And they had no comforter. They had no comforter because the Lord said, I'm going to turn my back on you, right? Go ahead. And on the side of the oppressors. On the side of our oppressors, we got uh, France. Mm-hmm. We got uh, the British. Right. Dutch. We got the uh, Dutch. Right. Right. All of these oppressors, right? We got all the other nations as well, because don't forget, you had the uh, so-called Chinese men. Mm-hmm, they had mm-hmm. us in slavery. Arab. Arab, right? Yep. You got all of these nations. They're our oppressors, right? Go ahead. And on the side of the oppressors. Was what? There was power. There was power. That's what you're seeing right here. They got power to do whatever they want, because we disobeyed God, so the Lord took away our power. All right? Damn. Hey, officer, you know what this Damn. reminds me of, this, this particular tactic? Because another organization got down like this. Yeah. The mafia. 
Yeah, the freaking mm, mafia. Yeah, yeah. When <laughs> when you owed the mafia money, uh-huh. originally they would come and just break your legs or uh, <laughs> put your feet in cement, yeah. make you go sleep with the fishes. But then they Damn. got smart. Like you know what? Hey, all right, you owe us this money, so here you can borrow more money on that borrow money. But right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make it pass back. income now. Yeah. Borrow right. money to pay that. back the money you already owe. <laughs> right. That's mafia stuff, right there. Damn. These people are crazy. Oh, Damn. Damn. Right. That wow. thing is crazy. Good. Yeah, uh, I want you to continue to reading because there's something interesting going to come up mm-hmm. after this. Haiti was forced to take large loans from the France bank. Credit industrial debt commercial enriched the bank's shareholders. So it said it enriched the bank's shareholders. Mm. Do me a favor real quick, IT. We're going to come back to this. Click on the uh, the link that was right below this one because we need to know who owns this bank. Oh, oh, who owns this bank? A hey, drum roll. We ain't gonna read it. We just gonna <laughs> read the is. title. Uh oh, come on. Rothschild Banking Family of mm. France. Of what? One more of time. France. Damn. Damn. There you go. You Let's go back to the article. So, hey, yeah. it's not no conspiracy theory, nothing. <laughs> right, These, right, are right. Yeah, These are facts. These are facts. And you know who the Rothschilds are, right? Yep. Sir. Hamelech. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Hamelech. Mm-hmm. Yep. Heim. So they had to take out a loan right. from Amalek, the Ishman, to go pay back the Frenchman mm. with interest for not allowing him to be his slave master yeah. for a certain length of time. Right. Damn. Damn. So now you, you owe two of your oppressors. Right. So, That's dang. the point. That's crazy. That's the point. That's crazy. Right? Now, uh, go ahead. Keep reading. Though France received its last indemnity payment in 1888... The government of the United States. Of who? The United States. Uh huh. Funded the acquisition of Haiti's treasury in 1911. Uh huh. In order to <laughs> receive in- interest payments related to the indemnity. Wow. wow. So now you have another Edomite nation. Damn. Okay, Sam said, I want in on this. Damn. Hey, go to Psalms 83. You can't make this stuff up. That's crazy. You can't make, and, th- and th- these are facts. Wow. These are facts. But you know how you can root through this stuff? With the understanding <clears throat> of the scriptures. That's right. Psalms 83, start at verse 2. The book of Psalms, chapter 83. In fact, start at verse 1. And verse 1. Uh-huh. Keep not thou silence. Not to keep silence for the oppression done unto our people. Read. Right. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O God. Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. It says enemies. That's right. We done read a little portion about the French, which led to what? Amalek, the Jewish man. Right. And right. also what? Esau, Idumium, Edom, because they all Edomites. Right. The American white man. Right. Right. right? right. Read. Right. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They've become above us as a nation of people. We literally see an example of them lifting up the head. USA realize, you know what? Your treasury ain't ish. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to loan you some cash, too, because I'm trying to eat in right. off of your oppression. Trying to get in, son. I'm trying Damn. to get some of this right Uncle here, Sam, right? Sam, let me crazy. get some of that. Watch this. Read verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel. They have done what? Taking crafty counsel. What's the crafty counsel? It started with slavery. Right. Right. That's what we're reading about right here. All of these governments' infrastructure, it started with slavery. Right, From right, slavery, right. it funded what? The banking system. Right. From the banking system, they what? They got military power, like mm-hmm. Officer was saying. And what military power can you do? Conquer other nations. Like conquer the world. And then from there, you set up what next? Education. Mm. So you can miseducate the slaves. Bring it out. And now your infrastructure, which is basically white sum- supremacy, a.k.a. racial systemic, uh, systemic racism, like Fran said, it may still be going on. Correct. Right. This is why people is lost in the sauce. Mm-hmm. Right. But you're seeing all of them have a hand in this, right? Mm-hmm. Now I want you to I want you to pay attention to some real quick because he said United States, right? Guess what the United States is? Babylon the Great. Right. right. Go to Revelation chapter 17. We're gonna show it to y'all. Go to Revelation chapter 17. This place right here is the mother of all harlots. Right. Revelation 17 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 17 and verse 1. Come on. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Uh Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. So he's going to show you the judgment of the great whore, read. That sitteth upon many waters. Now it says, this this whore sits upon many waters. Let's get Habakkuk 2 and 5. What is he talking about, many waters? America is the only country in this world that sets up their military bases in everybody's backyard. Everywhere. Hey, you China, guess what? 
That's my land. That's mm-hmm. my military base. Right. That's my Navy in, right. in your waters. Mm-hmm. Oh, you Japan? Yeah, that's my military base. I'm setting up over there. Right. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 5. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 5. Come on. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine. By his lies, by his philosophies, Ooh. by his politics, read. He is a proud man. He's become a proud nation upon this earth, read. Neither keep it at home. Wait a minute. Damn. Nah, he stays at home. Neither keep it. At home. America is in everybody's business. Right. We see with Ukraine and Russia, they threw a rock and then they ran away right. and left <laughs> Ukraine to be fighting that right. battle. Right. Why? Because uh, yeah. Russia is trying to get strategic powers set up in Ukraine. America don't want that. Mm-hmm. America wants to have all the advantage. Right. They never stay at home. Read. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. And wherever he goes, death and destruction follows. And he's covetous. Right. He see you've got a little piece of land. I want that. Right. He see you got the Caribbean. Right. I want that. Right. Everything they they see they want and they his. conquer with the sword. Mm-hmm. Right. Read. And is as death. And he says death because when he does it, it's by the sword. There's death and destruction when he comes in there. Right. Read. And cannot be satisfied. He is never satisfied. Example, United States realizes Haiti can never pay back this debt. They right. step in and come eat off of right. it. Right. Never right. satisfied. It's opportunity. Read. But gathered unto him all nations. What does he gather? Unto him all nations. That's why they say this is the land of prosperity, because everybody wants to come here. Right. They've already got, what do you call it? The great melting pot. Mm-hmm. You can find every nation under the earth in this place, Babylon the Great. Read. And heap it unto him all people. And he heap unto him all people. Go back. Revelation 17 and read verse 5. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 5. Uh-huh. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Right. It called Mystery Babylon because guess what? Not everybody has the understanding this is Babylon. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of Christians, you read the Bible, you're talking about, that's the time of Nebuchadnezzar, newsflash, prophecy said no man will dwell there. Mm-hmm. Last time I checked, people living in Iraq. Right. Right. Y'all had a whole desert storm and right. war going over there right. in the late 90s, right? <laughs> That's why it's called Mystery Babylon, because everyone does not know this place is obviously Babylon, Babylon the Great. The Great. Mm-hmm. Read. Bring it out. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. It's the mother of harlots. Why? All manner of evil. You got homosexual sodomite mm-hmm. laws over here. You got laws where kids can be against their parents. Right. Right. You got all manner of evil laws that come from here. And what do they do? They call it westernized civilization. Mm-hmm. They bring that into other countries. Right. That's why they call them the mother of harlots. Read. And abominations of the earth. And all manner of abominations of the earth is here. Now, I want y'all to check this out, right? Jump over to chapter 18, and let's read verse 4. So now we understand America is the mother of all harlots, right? Right. What did America do with the nations? Read. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard. Verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Her fornication, her policy, her democracy, right. her lies, her <clears throat> wicked laws. All nations. You got Arab nations now that have strict laws that now the women is taking off the, what do you call it, hijab or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they rocking yeah. pants over yeah, there. Yeah, pants now. You, you got, you got, you got, got, you got right. um, transformer <laughs> laws going on right. over there. All nations that they've heaped up under them, they're drinking off that wine of the fornication. <laughs> right. Go ahead. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And they've committed fornication. Why? Because they agree right. with her policies. Right, Read. Right, right. And the merchants and of the, the earth and the merchants of the earth. The Rothschilds, the Damn. France, the America right. are waxed rich mm. through the abundance mm. of her delicacies. Through the abundance of her delicacies. Damn. For Tom's sake, jump down and let's see what's one of the abundance of her delicacies. Verse 13. Bring it out. Verse 13. And cinnamon, uh-huh. and odors, uh-huh. and ointments, uh-huh. and frankincense, uh-huh. and wine, uh-huh. and oil, uh-huh. and fine flour, and wheat, and beast, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, what? and slaves. Because that money that America's trying to finance to get bread off of Haiti is uh-huh. based off of what? And slaves. It's based off of our people's slavery. Mm. And mm. souls of men. And the dead of our people. Out. And the dead of our people we read that i was like yo that's crazy Mm -hmm. and look the facts is right there right it's right right there get off so you had something 
Yes, A. Bring it up. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 41. Because this ain't the first time. What officers bring it out is heavy. This ain't the first time that they took advantage of us when we were in the form of slavery to, uh, servitude, right? Uh, read that. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 41. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 3, and verse 41. Yep, go ahead. And the merchants of the country. And the what? And the merchants of the country. Just like the officer was bringing out. America had what? You have merchants that right. came and took advantage of what? The slaves of Israel. Go ahead. Hearing the fame of them uh -huh. took silver uh -huh. and gold very much. Right, go ahead. With servants. Right, go ahead. And came into the camp to buy the children of Israel. Right, they Dang. came to buy the children of Israel. Just so, hey, drop. we hear, they see this over and over again. It's a part of our history where the nations will come together and they would what? They would take advantage of us being slaves and they right. would want a piece of the pie. They'd be like, right. hey, it said they heard the fame of us, right? Mm -hmm. So they obviously had to talk about it. The word went out. You know what? Hey, I want a piece of that too. So we're seeing the same thing in um, our modern day history. So in these think tanks and the United Nation meetings, they're doing the same thing. They're decades Absolutely. ahead of us right now. Right. Mm -hmm. right. We have right. a Messiah coming to get us anyway. Absolutely. You That's got right. some officer? Yes, sir. Uh, let me get Isaiah 47 out. in verse 1 to land back off what you was reading, officer. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. We're going to read about that whore that we were reading about in Revelation. Whore. The book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. So this is what's important about this stuff we bringing out because we tired of the lies being taught to our right. people about right. how great this nation is, how great this people is, this, this, the beautiful so-called neighborhood-friendly white man. Right. Nah, the white man has been killing and murdering and enslaving our people right. in every country Jeez. for years. Right. Right. Read. There is no throne, uh -huh. O daughter of the Chaldeans, uh -huh. for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Because when you go and you actually learn, like you like you mentioned, the, the miseducation we're being taught, when you read about their history, you don't read about none of this. Nope. You read about how great they were. You read about their the Abraham Lincoln and George Washington and founding the founding fathers. fathers. Right. You don't read about the murder and the desolation they did to our people to take this land. You don't read about that. Right. Read on. Take the millstones uh -huh. and grind mill. Uh -huh. Uncover thy locks uh -huh. and make bare the leg. Read. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. So this isn't some beautiful virgin anymore. We are exposing Babylon. We're exposing the white man right. for the murder that he truly is Whore. to our people. Read on. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Uh -huh. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. Uh -huh. I will take vengeance, and I will not make meet thee as a man. So just like you mentioned, soldier, we will have a redeemer come Ooh. for the shame that this man has brought upon our people. We that's will be right. redeemed, but we must keep God's commandments. That's right. That's, that's right. heavy what you said, officer, because because we have a major high holy day coming up and it That's celebrates right. it our deliverance, Bring it out. our redemption from things like this. So our people have to know that, hey, yeah, these things are happening, but there is a way out of all of this oppression and that is through your repentance. Right. Hey, I'm going to show y'all something. Go to Isaiah 14. Go to Bring Isaiah 14. Give me verse. Bring out the gospel. Give me Bring verse. That's right. <laughs> Give me verse 6. The good news. The book of it's Isaiah. Places I wanted to go, but go to verse 6. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 6. Uh -huh. He who smote the people in wrath uh -huh. with a continual smoke stroke. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Namely, number one on the list, the most highest hit list, Edom. That's right. right. All right, read. He that ruled the nations in anger. And he ruled the nations in anger. How? Because he went about the earth raping, robbing, and murdering his way to the top. Right. And then he spread the world to the other nations, and now they enjoy the fruits of our destruction. Read. Is persecuted and none hinder it. But what's going to happen to him? It's going to flip on him. Right. And nobody's going to stop that thing because it's of the Lord. Read. That's right. The whole earth is at rest. And when that happens, the whole earth will be at rest. Oh, and that's what? right. And it's quiet. Uh-huh. They break forth into singing. They break forth into singing. We're going to sing a righteous song. Hey, <laughs> 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 they funny back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read. Oh, hey. hey, matter of fact, jump down to verse... Uh, 21. Verse 21. Yes, Bring it out. Prepare slaughter for their children. Because a for lot of people will say, hey, that was a long time ago. Right. This is what was done in past. Slavery is done with. Mm -hmm. Hey, we just need to forgive. Turn the other cheek. But what did the Lord say? Three. Prepare slaughter for uh -huh. his children. Prepare slaughter for his children. Why? His children are still enjoying the fruits of what they wicked fathers right. did. Right. And they ain't restored nothing to us. Read. For the iniquity of their fathers. Uh-huh. 
that they do not rise nor possess the land, uh-huh. nor fill the face of the world with cities. The Lord said, cut them off. That's right. right. I'll praise, praise to the most high. Praise. That is right. Hey, pull that back up. We got a little bit left because uh, there's one more interesting fact that we need to get across to our people's minds. So goodbye to Gomer. Right. What else we got? Ashkenaz. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can read uh, where it says, though, France. Though France received, Though France received the last amenity p- payment in 1888, the government of the United States funded the acquisition of Haiti's treasury in 1911 in order to receive the interest payments related to the indemnity in 19- in 1922. The rest of Haiti's debt to France was moved to be paid to American investors. Mm. It took until 1947, about 122 years of Haiti to finally pay off all the associated interest to the National City Bank of New York. What? Now, City Bank. Right. Now, City Everybody Bank knows is. who City Bank yep. is. Now, hey, but they only paid the interest. That's not even the full. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, keep reading. So what happened to the principal? Right. In 2016, <laughs> the Parliament of France repealed the 1825 ordinance. You got to scroll down. Charles. Of Charles X, uh-huh. though no reparations, no what reparations uh-huh. have been offered by France. Damn, of course not. So although they're acknowledging their evil, they're acknowledging what they did to you. There is no reparations wow. offered by Damn. France. Sorry, not hey, sorry. That's, that's the same what we was reading earlier. That there's no power in our hand. There you we go. had to pay them reparations, but when they actually admit, okay, we were wrong. Where's our reparations? Right. Right. We have no power. Hey, when you. Well, he just read there because we read by it a little quick. They passed it off to America anyway. Yep. Mm-hmm. That debt was passed off to the U.S. So they can say, oh, yeah, we was wrong for yep. it. But like you said, there's no reparations. Yeah. Uh, we feel bad about that. No reparations. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, hey, go to Jeremy 28 and 31 real quick. Jeremy 20 and 31. Because guess yep. what? The Lord, the Lord already told us right. you weren't getting no reparations from there these people, go. bro. Mm-hmm. That's right. They got you go. paying them for the time they missed out on enslaving you right. and then added interest to it. <laughs> that, hey, this blessing. is the thing. That's why the Lord said, hey, he got he to gotta judge them. They got to right. be removed. Yes. That's right. There's no amount of money they can give you back for the souls of our people. Right. Right. There's no price right. tag you can put on right. it. Right. Yeah, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 31. Uh-huh. Thy ox shall be slain before thy eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thy ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, uh-huh. and shall not be restored to thee. And never is it going to be restored, meaning what? No reparations. Right. It ain't happening. It's not in his spirit. Right. right. But I'm going to show you something. Get Daniel chapter 7. Shout out to, uh, I think it was Bishop or Deacon brought this out. We don't need no death reparations from you. Because mm-hmm. right. when Christ returns, that's we right. take that's what right. belongs to us. That's right. Daniel chapter 7, verse 18. The book of Daniel chapter 7 and verse 18. Uh-huh. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Now we're going to ask for it. Shall take the kingdom. We're going to vote for it. Shall take the kingdom. We're going to take the kingdom when yes, we get back. That's right. Three. And possess the kingdom forever. Forever. And even. Forever and ever, ever Fire. and ever and ever, Amen. That's right. right. Oh, oh. You got some also? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, uh, bring Exodus it out. chapter twenty-one, bring verse sixteen. Because it it's backing up the point. It's impossible for them to pay reparations. They took us as slaves. They stole us from our land, right? So what could they actually pay? For the lives that they took of our brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. What could they actually pay? Let's see what the Bible says. The book of Exodus, chapter 21 and verse 16. Yep, go ahead. And he that stealeth the men. Because we know we were stolen by the the French, right? Right. Like you said, you got the uh, the Dutch. Right. You got uh, America. All of these nations, the Arabs, the Chinese. Yep. They that's stole right. us, right? Go ahead. And sell it him. Uh-huh. And then what? And sell it him. Right. That's how they got their money, right? That's how they got rich. They got it off of our backs. Right. Right. On. Or if he be found in his hand, uh-huh. he shall surely be put to death. Right. So reparations, we don't need that. We want what the Lord is going to give right. us. That's the Lord is going to give us righteous judgment. Right. Right. All right. All praises. Rulership. To the most high. Hey, so biblically, that's the reparations. That's the reparations. <laughs> that is reparations right All there. Praises <laughs> to the most it high. will happen. <laughs> what is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. 
nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 